This is a quick demo to show you how to recover from a lost password on a Cisco switch. The first thing you'll need to do, and what I've already done here, is you'll need to connect to the switch using a uh, terminal emulation software package. Um, in this instance, we're using Reflections for Unix. Um, you'll need to set the line speed for the emulation software to the typical setting of 9600 baud. Then power off the switch, power it back on while pressing the mode button. And it should eventually get you to this type of um, login screen where you have just a basic switch command here. Now from this point, what you'll need to do is type in flash in it to initialize flash. This will take a few moments to load. Once it's finished loading, type in load underscore helper. You can take a look at the current flash files that are on the device by typing in dir flash and then colon. You can see the different flash files that are currently located on the uh, switch. Now from this point forward what we'll need to do is we'll need to rename the old flash file which is the config.txt config.txt to something different and here we'll just name it to config.txt.old hit enter and then from here we'll need to reboot the system when it boots up it's not going to find that config.txt file it's looking for so let's go ahead and reboot the switch and this again will take a few moments Now that it's booted back up, we can see that it's not at its initial configuration stage. From here, it's asking us whether or not we want to uh, start the initial configuration. Since we don't really want to do that at this point because we just want to reset the password, what we'll do is we'll actually say no to the setting or not to the setting, but to this question. And then from here, we'll go ahead and type in enable to enable the switch. And then from here, we can rename that flash config file that we have. Back to the old name it had. So now it's just confirming uh, that we're going to rename the config.txt.old back to config.txt. Hit enter. And then we can copy the current configuration that's contained within the txt file, the config.txt file into the uh, current system running config. And then it's just asking us to confirm it again. So now we're back into the device with the current settings, 
the configuration it's currently using, but we're actually logged in with the enable account. So now that we're inside of the switch with the enable account, we can configure the device, configure the terminal by typing in config T, and we can change the password for the enable account. Then we can exit out and do a quick show run. Make sure everything looks okay. And then what we can do to make sure that we copy those changes that we just made into the running config, we can copy the running config to the start of config. It's going to ask us if we really want to do that just to confirm it. And we'll just hit enter to confirm. And that's pretty much it. Besides uh, changing the enable password, you may also want to add some user accounts to the switch in case you don't know those either. Um, to do that, you just have to go back onto the switch and config T to configure the terminal. And type in username. Whatever username you want to give it, we can call it super admin. And we can give it a password. Um, the password can be whatever we want. We'll call it my secret. Hit enter, and then we have a new account to log into. And we can just confirm the account by logging out of the switch. Going back in. Hope this helps you guys out.